New report from a Treasure Valley nonprofit shows they are seeing a significant increase in Idahoans being served with eviction notices. But Jesse Tree says it's able to keep roofs over more families' heads because of community support. Let's go over to Abby Davis. And Abby, this report comes out every year, but how much of an increase are we talking about? Well, Brian, Jesse Tree puts it together using Idaho Supreme Court data for Ada and Canyon counties. That is the report I'm talking about. Executive Director Ali Robbie says the number of evictions filed nearly doubled from 2022 to 2023. In Ada County, there are roughly 1,600 compared to 800 the year before. In Canyon County, there were 500 filed compared to nearly 370. Robbie blames rising rent and the end of pandemic era federal assistance for renters. It's definitely disheartening to see evictions increase and also the fact that a large majority of evictions, 25% of all evictions, are being done by five landlords. Robbie says it's mainly big corporations buying land and rentals in the valley. She says there is some good news, though. Data shows the number of evictions filed that ended up on someone's permanent record only increased 5% last year. Robbie says that's because they had more money coming in to fight cases in court. Homelessness is still a manageable problem in our valley, but we need to stay ahead of it. And so um, being able to prevent eviction and homelessness you know, before that happens to someone, uh, it's a very impactful thing for our community. So Robbie says they gave almost $2 million in rental assistance last year. Most of that is from community members donating money, grants, and the city of Boise. If they aren't able to help somebody with rent, Robbie says they're in the courtroom with them. She encourages everyone, landlords and tenants, to reach out to the nonprofit before things get to that level. And Brian, she also says that corporate landlords are more likely to take someone to court. 25% uh, of all eviction notices by right. five landlords. That's yep. an interesting statistic. Thank you very much, Abby.